Welcome to Setup Mastery, your go-to channel for all things tech. Here, we explore the latest gadgets, unbox cutting-edge devices, and provide step-by-step -step installation guides to help you optimize your setup. Subscribe now and join our journey to master the art of perfect setups. In today's video, we'll be walking you through the setup process for the TP-Link CPE 710 Outdoor CPE. Whether you're looking to extend your wireless network over long distances or set up a point-to-point -point connection, this high-performance outdoor solution is perfect for you. Let's dive into the setup. First, let's take a quick look at what comes in the box. You'll find the TP-Link CPE 710 unit, a power adapter, mounting accessories, and the instruction manual. Before we start setting it up, ensure you have everything you need. Now, let's mount the CPE 710. This device is designed for outdoor use, so pick a location that is elevated and free from obstacles to get the best signal. Use the included mounting kit to secure the device to a pole or wall, depending on your setup. Once the device is mounted, it's time to connect it to power and your network. Plug the Ethernet cable into the LAN port of the CPE 710 and connect the other end to the provided power adapter. Then, use another Ethernet cable to connect the power adapter to your router or directly to your computer for configuration. Next, let's configure the CPE 710 via the TP-Link web interface. Open your browser and type in the default IP address found in the manual, which is usually 192.168.0.254. Log in using the default credentials provided by TP-Link. Both the username and password will be set to admin by default. Once logged in, you'll have full access to the settings dashboard, where you can reconfigure the device as needed for your network. Once logged in, you'll be taken to the TP-Link dashboard. From here, you can choose between different operation modes like access point, client, bridge, or repeater. Select the mode based on your specific needs. For example, if you're extending a network to another building, choose bridge mode. Now, head to the wireless settings section. Here, you can set the SSID, choose the correct frequency, and adjust the transmission power. For long-range setups, ensure the transmission power is set to maximum. Don't forget to set up a secure password for your wireless network. Once you've made all the necessary changes, click Save and reboot the CPE 710. Once the device reboots, test the connection by moving to various locations within the coverage area and checking the signal strength. This will help ensure that your wireless network is functioning optimally, and you should now have a stable, long-range wireless connection established.